Hi folks, welcome back. Hope you're all keeping well. So today we're going to listen to and watch The Greatest Show on Earth by Nightwish. This is live at Tampere 2015 remastered. Tampere? 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 No idea. Never heard of it. This request comes in from one of my VIP patrons over on Patreon. This is Hybrid Vox. Thanks for your request. Interesting to me here is, uh, you know, the YouTube date on this is uh, November 2020. Uh, and there's only just over a thousand views on this. So I think that's kind of interesting. I don't know whether this is, yeah, just seems low. Don't know, haven't really looked at it yet. So maybe you guys know why there's a low number of views on this. For Nightwish, usually it's tens of hundreds of thousands of views on their videos. And this is the link that's been shared, so this is the one we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's get going. Kettimet Tuomas Holopan. Oh, nice tone shift. Lovely voicing in his piano playing there, you know. Um, there's obviously a lot going on in both hands, but do you notice it? Da, 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 da. Really highlighting the melody there with the thumb. Something as a classical piano teacher, you know, it's one of the things we talk about a lot, which is balancing the voices on the piano with whether it's, is it part of the accompaniment? Is it the bass? Is it a tenor voice, a soprano voice? You know, you, you do all the voicings like this. It's very difficult to do in real time. Not only is it difficult to get the voicing right, but to get the tone to match is, is particularly difficult, you know. Um, you know, so like whatever volume you've played your first note, the, the next melody note comes in and there be notes in between the melody notes. So whatever, whenever the next melody note comes in, it must match the tone of the previous one. So uh, not only am I impressed by that, what he's doing, but I'm impressed even more so because I can see the type of keyboard he's playing doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have the piano action, you know, so the, the hammer action of a real acoustic piano, like a grand or even an upright, um, is far more sensitive and it's easier to sort of judge and get a really accurate, representation of what you're hearing in your head these the touches on these keyboards even though they've got more sophisticated as time goes on it's very difficult to get it to sound in that sort of classical way because the touch is usually a little bit more inconsistent um i can see from that it's they're only like they're semi-profile keys they're not even fully you know um so the, it's like an organ keyboard you know what i mean it's like a waterfall keyboard i think they call that anyway uh lovely playing uh, and, and and nice harmonies and different things going on there. It was a lovely tone shift. So let's keep it moving here. It's a 21 minute video. Could be here a while. Chord Kronos, is that what he's playing? Yeah. The counter melody there, in the sense, strings. Slowly. 
Yeah, the guy has a lovely touch. Lovely touch. You know, I spent, <laughs> spent most, I mean, I was classically trained on piano, so um, I know I might not look like one, but I'm not bad on piano. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, there's one thing playing the notes. It's another thing to uh, really get into that sort of level where, you know, the sophistication is there, like we was saying about the, the tone matching and all the rest of it. So the fact, yeah, I mean, I'm going to end up sort of gush gushing a little bit. It's very impressive, very impressive. There's a show, eh? There's this un undercurrent of tension in the orchestra, you know? Very subtle, but it's a real tension on it. There's something about the melodies that the that the, that he composes that um, they almost sound like you've heard them before. And uh, a lot of time I listen to music that can be a negative thing. You know, it sounds like oh. It just sounds sort of generic or it sounds predictable. It sounds like I've heard it before. So a lot of the time I would use it in that sort of um, connotation, but not here. It sounds familiar. But it sounds great. Do you know what I mean? It sounds like something that's existed for hundreds of years, but uh, but not in any sort of negative way. You know what I mean? There's He's, he's managed to, I don't know how they're doing that really, you know, where he's getting that sort of, I mean, I mean, I guess he's getting that from, uh, you know, the sort of classical influences. You know, it's possibly why when I'm listening to it, I feel like it's not that you can predict where it's going, but there's there's a familiarity to where the lines are going, um, and it's done in in a way where it's like his melody choices and the harmony choices are all things that are sort of proven. They all work. They're all really really good within classical music, but yet it still sounds unique. So um, I don't know if that made any sense or not, like, but. Uh, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> it's been a long day, week, month, year. Yeah. The horns in now. Textural stuff there in the background is really nice, very haunting. Is Floor going to use that whole ego plank? It goes on forever. That's sort of like the Van Halen ones back in the day. Interesting use of rhythm there and the percussion. Wow, 
Lots of modulations here. I'm not sure where we're going to end up. Suspended? Yeah. Resolution. With the bagpipes? Or Yulian pipes, maybe? So I like bagpipes. After sleeping through a hundred Looks million like centuries, we have finally opened our eyes on a sumptuous planet, sparkling with color, bountiful with life. Within decades, we must close our eyes again. Isn't it a noble and enlightened way of spending our brief time in the sun? Is that, Sir, is that Sir Patrick Moore that they've sampled? I don't know if it is or not. It sounds a little bit like him. It's a noble and enlightened way of spending our... Say sampled, you know, the, the, the voiceover. Close our eyes again. Isn't it a noble and enlightened way of spending our brief time in the sun? I don't think it is. Him. To work at understanding the universe and how we have come to wake up in it. Wondering base. Floor's delivery is something else, isn't it? Like, you know, just see how, demen how many dimensions she has as a performer. You know, um, I don't know. Was she trained in musical theatre or drama school or anything like that? You know, she's way more, way more than sort of the typical singer in a, in a band. You know, all this sort of, not only the spoken, uh, um, <laughs> the eloquence, <laughs> there's irony in it. Um, can't even do it. But uh, the eloquence and um, the performance within uh, what she's doing, it, whether it's with her face or body language and all the rest of it, you know, it just it seems to be like, you know, she's trained. You know, if she isn't, then she's just complete natural. Just noticing now, I, I'm not paying, I didn't really catch exactly what they're saying, but that the, the syllabic content of the words goes in time with the rhythm of the music. Was it doing that earlier on? I maybe just missed it, but I'm hearing it now. Da 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 da. The syllables are with the rhythm, aren't they? Every vast direction. Biological 
question and answer between the melody and the synth rings. Not entirely sure if I'm picking this out right or not, but it sounds like there's a lot of arpeggios going on. It's quite low in the mix. Da 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 in the the keyboard part, you know, the the, the strings. Um rather than the da da it doesn't sound like pads. I can hear da 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 don't know if I'm getting that right or not, but definitely sounds like something happening there. <laughs> Definitely movement in those chords, it's not just static. Brass swells. Might have been that pattern that was playing before, it sounds similar. Lots of really interesting sort of rhythmical stuff happening there in those little sort of fills. You get these big long sweeping lines with the melody and da 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 da, -da, -da. and then just that little, whether it's going to be this drum fill or that drum fill, you're not quite sure what they're going to do, but they have um, a sort of pattern, I guess, with the end of the phrasing and that you're sort of anticipating that there's going to be some sort of interesting little sort of connection there made every time. Um, but it's not just the same thing every time, so I really appreciate the attention to detail there. See the way she's she's performing to everybody there. Great front person there, you know. Eyes wide open. Communication. People over here. People over here. You know, great to see. Hmm. Where are we going now? Did you keep an eye on my counter on this? Sorry to interrupt, I need to keep an eye on the timer because every half an hour my, uh, my camera stops recording so you may see a little sort of cut here. Just keep an eye on it in case you get uncomfortable with me looking a wee bit like that. I'm just trying to read the number at the top. Right, that's up, done, let's get back into this.
Hey, the sound of horses in the background? That sounded like a strange thing to say, but I'm near sure I heard a horse going <coughs> or whatever. Never done that before. Yeah, really tense, atmospheric. Is that floor? Surely not. going to say something that might be a little bit controversial but listening to the two vocalists um i actually like his voice as well so i do but it reminds me a little bit of uh you know queen um it's like one of my favorite bands ever really queen that uh brian may great singer actually roger taylor great singer freddie mercury you know <laughs> It's like it's kind of like almost a, even having really like good quality singers in your band. Um, in a weird way, I wonder does it enhance just how good the lead vocalist is, you know? Because she's, let's be honest, like you know, way up there, way up there, and he can really hold it. You know, he's he's good as well, but when she comes in. It always makes me think, what's that song um, by Queen, actually? Who Wants to Live Forever is a perfect example. If you don't know that song, go and listen to that. Do you see exactly the point I'm trying to make here? So uh, Brian May sings the song up until the point, and then Freddie comes in and takes over. And it's like, you go from, oh, this is really good, to like being, you just go like transcendent. The hand of travel is out of Africa Little Lucy of the A4 You've got to find his way To an honor tree To self-destruct him But you're in And turning out of guns Deeper than the past That is the crowd of the hunter I like the way the keyboard parts are layered there. You're hearing that synthy, and I keep saying synthy because the strings, there's 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 a sort of timbre within the strings. It sounds synth synthesized to me. Um, I'm sure they're just sampled strings or whatever, you know, but um, it's hard to know. He's using the Korg Kronos. I've never actually played one of those before, so I don't know if he's using the built-in sounds in that or he's triggering stuff through a laptop somewhere or, you know, some other sort of device. That, uh, you know, there's different things that you can hide discreetly on stage. Actually, that's where your sounds are and you're just using the keyboard to trigger it. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, it doesn't sound just purely st strings to me. There's something about it. Anyway, the point I was trying to make was I like the way it's layered between um, that and there's a piano part underneath. You know, you can hear the piano's down lo much lower, but it's playing in unison. It's playing the same notes. That again would, you know, well, well I guess you could do that on the chord Kronos probably, which is to layer the sounds, you know. <laughs> Listen closely, you can definitely hear piano. Or is he doing that with the left hand on the other keyboard? Let us take a good shot. He might have actually been playing that on a separate keyboard.
from Phil. I don't know if that was a wrong note in there, but that might be the very first time I've ever heard something that sounded slightly out. Um, sounded like it was a semitone up. I was waiting on the repeat to come round. You didn't play it the second time, so it might have been, might not. But uh, it just goes to show, you know, we're 14 and a half minutes into this one song. The accuracy within this, you know, because that's these are difficult enough uh, keyboard parts. Never mind with all the head banging and all the rest of it. Like So, um, yeah, exceptional performing. Get the diminuendo now, everything coming down. Oh, bring it up again briefly. What? Da, 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 da. I haven't got my piano turned on. Give me a second. It was like a harpsichord of box. Um, Minuet and G in it. Is this going to work? I'm trying to open piano software in real time. This is exciting stuff in it. That was definitely in there. I hope I don't know if that recorded or not, but hopefully it did. That note. That was. Oh, I hear the choir part. Oh, that's So it's classical themes going on. That was, uh, there you go, it happened. Camera run out, movie stop recording. That's annoying with these SLRs and that, you know? Um, so I'm not sure where I got to. I was trying to say about the back yet. I don't know if that happened again. I'm saying this again now. This. Da -da 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 -da. Um, that came in through, and then that last section there, which I got up to like 1451, where I, was, I noticed uh, that that wasn't recording anymore. But uh, yeah, that... It's another... Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what that is. Might be Vivaldi. Could be Bach. It's something Baroque anyway, isn't it? Like we Easter eggs. <laughs> Enter Sandman.
Good rhythm on the guitar. those tone shifts from major to minor or minor to major it's very sci-fi I think of total uh, total recall the soundtrack to it That's why I'm nerding it, it's in Finland. So, uh, okay, they're playing to their own home crowd. I would have bailed a while back, you know, but obviously there's music being played throughout this, so uh, I don't really want to cut it off there. I don't want to hear whatever's going on. There is grandeur in this view of life with its several powers having been originally breathed into a few forms or into one, and that whilst this planet has gone cycling on according to the fixed law of gravity, from so simple a beginning, don't recognize endless forms that girl is in beautiful and most wonderful have been Different singer? and are being evolved. Okay. Good stuff as always, just epic upon epic upon epic, isn't it? Really? <laughs> the fireworks and the, the the actual fire and flames and everything going 
with the time of the riffs, you know, big budget show. Uh, but yeah, just super stuff. Okay, so um, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a look through the channel. You might see some other things there that could interest you. Um, yeah, that's it. Look after yourselves. See us again next time.